Hello. Um, welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Um, I read a, an article this morning um, that there's a company called Funko Pop. They make bobbleheads and various figurines. And they are, their storage units were full. They had way too much inventory at the end of last quarter. And so they are destroying $30 million worth of product to save money on storage costs. And it had me thinking, how do we do that to ourselves in our own house? Where are we costing ourselves money in our own business or our own house that we don't need to be wasting money on, right? How are you looking at your things as inventory that have costs associated with them, right? So in business, there's actual product inventory <clears throat> if you have product. If you are a service business, are there other things that are costing you money to maintain that are no longer worth offering? Um, old offers, old um, configurations of your packages, um, things that that haven't sold in years, you know, services that, that hardly ever get any notice. Can you just take them off of your books so that uh, you don't have to put any effort or energy into them? And then at home, what about you know, how much stuff is in your garage at the expense of your car that you have to park in your driveway? And how much um, does it cost to heat that extra wing of the house if no one's living in it anymore? Um, and how much are you paying on storage units? Why do you have storage units? Why can't you fit all your possessions in your own house? Right? Look at those kinds of things. But also, what's the emotional cost and what are the other costs associated with it? I find it fascinating. You know, this article, and I will put the link um, in the comments below the video, but in case you're interested. But, you know, it seems to me after reading the article that this company failed to anticipate several things. Um, they didn't read the handwriting on the wall about people wanting to simplify their lives and, and purchasing fewer just purely ornamental things um, that there's been a dramatic shift in um, the entire entertainment industry and what is exciting people these days. They overproduced, obviously. They didn't have a good way of managing expectations of the market versus their production capacities. And they don't seem to have done anything to help eliminate the inventory other than destroying it. Um, and, you know, bottom line is they're also in the collectibles market. And so what, what kind of research did they do about limited number, limited edition items versus just lots and lots and lots of cheaper versions of things and what it does to people's willingness to purchase it? Um, Beanie Babies, anyone? <laughs> You can't over flood the market and then expect it to keep uh, its collectible value. So think about that in your own house. At a certain point, you've collected so many that they're no longer valuable. Um, so, yeah, think about that. What's hiding in your bathroom that's no longer valuable because you have a bunch of them? Um, anyway, I thought it was an interesting way of looking at it. And um, I love pulling things in and connecting the dots from other outside um, ways of viewing your inventories and the things in your life. And so um, check it out. I'll put the link in the bottom. It was on CNN business, I believe. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. And uh, in the meantime, have a delightful day. Bye.